What's up guys, Josh here at Fugitech, and last month Huawei unveiled its latest and most powerful smartphones to date, the Mate 40 series. Sitting in the middle is the Mate 40 Pro, packing a 6.76 inch Full HD OLED screen with a 90Hz refresh rate, triple rear cameras, a Kirin 9000 SoC, and 5G connectivity. If you want to know our initial thoughts, just keep on watching. First, let's see what's inside the box. Lifting up the lid, you will see the phone itself, then under that we have a smaller box that contains the SIM ejector tool and a jelly type clear case. Then below that we have the charger, a USB type C cable, and a lovely pair of earphones. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro sports a familiar design and is like a merge between the Mate 30 Pro and the P40 Pro. We have a large screen that curves on the sides, although it seems like it has thicker bezels at the top and bottom. For display, the notch is gone and it is replaced with a hole punch for the dual front camera similar to the P40 Pro. It has a 6.76 inch screen size and a 90Hz refresh rate giving you an immersive and vibrant screen with punchy colors, great viewing angles, and smooth animations and transitions. On the right side, we have the volume buttons and the power lock button with a red accent. The buttons are placed near the center, so it's still easy to reach. The buttons feel clicky but firm and solid, while there's nothing going on over at the left. On top you'll find the earpiece, loudspeaker, IR blaster, and microphone, while below we have the loudspeaker, USB-C port, and the card slot for the nano SIM card and nano memory card. Flipping to its back you'll see a reflective glass back along with the protruding circular camera module that houses the 50 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel ultrawide, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, laser autofocus, dual LED flash, and another microphone for video recording purposes. Check out these sample shots. As expected of a flagship smartphone coming from Huawei's Mate lineup, the Mate 40 Pro is every inch a premium device. It's cool to the touch, has a decent heft, and the curves are seamless. It's also a tall device but thin enough to be comfortably gripped. We're also glad that it already has a screen protector pre-installed and a clear case included in the package as the back panel attracts fingerprints and smudges like crazy. Now if you're worried about water damage, you might not have to on this one as the Mate 40 Pro is IP68 certified. Powering the Mate 40 Pro is the new Kirin 9000 SoC with 8GB of RAM and 256GB UFS 3.1. Running the software side is EMUI 11 based on Android 10 and obviously this is going to be using HMS instead of GMS. For the battery, it has a 4400mAh capacity with support for the 66W supercharge and of course your 50W wireless supercharge. So that wraps it up for our unboxing and hands-on of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. We'll know more about performance and other details in our review, so stay tuned for that. But if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Josh, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video.